In 2012, the Good Luck Jonathan administration approved the flag off of the cassava bread policy known as the Cassava Bread Fund, designed to encourage the production of bread with the inclusion of between 10 to 30 percent inclusion of cassava flour in wheat flour, the Cassava Bread Fund may have hit the rocks. TVC News Bukola Samuel Wemimo tells us why. Nigeria is the world's leading grower of cassava. Let me show you something. This is cassava cake. It has gone through peeling, dewatering, and the milling processes. Now, from this multiple-use natural resource, you can get many things. Gari, fufu, starch for consumption. You can also get cassava flour for all forms of confectionaries. For the purpose of this story, however, we will stay with bread. The question here is, is Nigeria properly harnessing this invaluable natural resource? To encourage the production of bread from composite flour, which is an inclusion of between 10 to 30 percent high quality cassava flour and wheat, the Jonathan administration increased the levy on imported wheat by 15 percent. The attendant cost was borne by the consumers as the master bakers and users of wheat flour embarked on strike in 2013 and subsequently increased the price of bread. As at 2013, over 200 billion naira had accrued to the cassava bread fund through the Nigeria Customs and the Federal Ministry of Finance as collecting agents. Subsequently, former President Goodluck Jonathan approved 10 billion naira for disbursement to the concerned stakeholders through a value chain stakeholders committee. The 10 billion naira fund was broken down as such. 4.72 billion naira for the growth of cassava to be disbursed by the Bank of Agriculture. 350 million naira equipment support for cassava flour processors. 893 million naira working capital for the processors. And 2.37 billion naira training and equipment support fund for the master bakers. But the Nigeria Association of Cassava Flour Processors say the terms of reference for the disbursement of the fund under the former Minister of Agriculture, Akiwumi Adeshino, was jettisoned from the cassava grower to the processor to the master baker. None has a pleasant story to tell about the cassava bread fund. Where the cassava is matured, uh, the optikas who are the processors, who uptake the cassava, so they cannot sell it out. More so that the uh, government has subsidized it. But uh, by the time all the cassava matured, the optikas complained that uh, the BOI did not release funds for them to upgrade their uh, equipment to process cassava into flour. At the same time, those of them who managed to do it on their own, they could not get um, money into uh, what they call working capital. The processors are willing to supply at 250, 300,000 naira per ton. The millers are willing to take at 180,000 naira per ton. The subsidy component of this cassava bread fund, which as I then was 450 million naira, only God knows how much has accrued to that fund now. In addition, one will have expected government to have used that money to make sure that so many of our brothers and sisters roaming about the street now are engaged by these processors. We have over 200 of such mills across the country. And the average investment in this sector for a single SME is in the neighborhood of 20 million naira. In other words, over 4 billion investment are lying fallow now. The BOI, as far as we, of the Association of Master Bakers and Caterers of Nigeria are concerned, have bungled the project. Even the uh, memorandum of understanding that was entered into between them and the Ministry of Agri have already been messed up. Against this background, the minister promised us at the meeting of July 22nd, 2016, that he was going to cancel all those uh, interest and charges. Knowing full well that 2.14 billion naira worth of cassava was at stake, why did the BOI fail to release the funds to the flour processors as at when due? TBC News made several efforts to get answers from Mr. Wahid Olagunju, the acting MD of the Bank of Industry, at the time. I'm on vacation. I'm in Saudi Arabia. I'm going to the mosque. I'm in I'm in now. I'm in the I don't talk to you now. 
This report unveils three known moribund cassava flour processing factories, but the processors say there are many others. In spite of the refusal of the wheat millers to patronize the cassava flour processors, the BOI has begun to write the processors, asking them to service their loans. Minister for Agriculture, Audubon, speaks on this. But they also say that uh, the flour millers are working against their interests because they have, uh, you know, wheat farms in Europe where they import flowers Absolutely. from. Absolutely. That ties up with the point I made earlier that foreign interests have taken your country hostage. They are very powerful. How can they patronize cassava flour when the, 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 uh, the, the, the flour millers are not willing to touch it? How can they patronize it when the big show is not available and they say their bread is, too, too, is not rising enough to put it in the market? Get the bill through, get the, the, the big show flour in, give it to them. Once they begin to make bread and they are satisfied that the bread is of the right size and is marketable, we'll deal with the rest. And if you don't deal with them, because BOI is the one handling this money, we didn't keep it in the ministry. We we'll sit down with BOI, we're even encouraging BOI to write off some of the debts. The Director General of the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, Professor Gloria Elemo, says the argument about cyanide being a poisonous content of cassava is baseless as experiments carried out by the Institute has proven to the contrary. It is even better for management of even the diabetics and lactose if you have a choice in the uh, cassava bread and the wheat bread for the management of diabetics mellitus and recommendations of diets, the cassava bread is even better than the wheat bread, than the 100% wheat bread. That is a 20% inclusion. And this was done with over 250 voluntary healthy individuals. Professor Elema says in terms of foreign exchange savings, a whopping sum of 127 billion naira will be saved if 20% substitution of high-quality cassava flour is made in wheat flour. Perhaps more than that figure will be saved if all the stakeholders walked the talk in the implementation of the local content policy by doing their part to tap the full potential of cassava as a natural resource. Bukola Samuel Webimo, TVC News.